Did you know that Carmelo Anthony is the only player in NBA history to win Rookie of the Month every single month in his rookie season and not win Rookie of the Year? The award went to Rookie LeBron. But this isn't a LeBron vs. Melo video. This video is going to compare Melo's entire career. So far, he's played for the Denver Nuggets, New York Knicks, Oklahoma City Thunder, Houston Rockets, and Portland Trailblazers. We are going to rank every version of Carmelo from worst to best. That's five different teams in the span of 17 seasons. Let's rebound onto that list. The worst version of Carmelo Anthony is without a doubt Houston Rockets Mello. Carmelo spent just 10 games in Houston and only started two of them. Coming off the bench was something very alien to Mello, and it did have an effect on how he approached the game of basketball. He averaged his lowest 13.4 points per game on 40% shooting, with his lowest 68% from the free throw line. Maybe things could have worked out if they let him wear his hoodie on the court, but that is not what happened. Coming in fourth place, we have Oklahoma City Thunder Mello. Now this is a fairly close call between OKC Mello and Portland Mello, but I'll get into Portland later. While on the Thunder, Mello did have flashes of greatness, especially while wearing a hoodie, but this was his least efficient season, including his rookie season, with a field goal percentage of 40%. Now on paper, he did average one more point than Blazers Mello, but that was based off having two more attempts per game, and more specifically, two more three-point attempts per game. On this team, he was really busy playing your turn, my turn basketball with Russell and Paul George. Ultimately, things didn't work out so well. In third place, we have Portland Trailblazers Carmelo Anthony. While this version of Melo is on the upswing compared to his last two teams, he is still way past his prime. But let's not go too hard on this Melo. He is 35, and for a 35-year-old to be averaging 15 points per game is pretty impressive. This Melo has one of the highest free throw percentages at about 85%, compared to the other Melos, and he's averaging more rebounds, assists, and steals than he was on OKC or Houston. So while he is averaging one less point than OKC Melo, he definitely makes it up with a efficiency and being productive in other facets. Now for the real debate. Denver Nuggets versus New York Knicks. We could make great arguments for both Mellows. You could argue that the New York Nick Mellow had a longer stretch of his prime, while Nuggets Mellow had just the start of his prime. This is the ultimate debate of success versus stats. Carmelo did have better stats as a Nick. If you compile all his Nick stats and compare them to his Nuggets stats, he did average about a half more point, a half more rebound, .02 more assists, and a 7% higher three-point percentage, but a 1% lower field goal percentage. Now, if we compare success, you could argue that Melo had far more success as a Nugget. And don't let the total number of all-star appearances fool you. When you're playing in the Big Apple, or any large market for that matter, making the all-star team through votes is a little easier, and plus he's been there longer. Ultimately, it's four Nuggets appearances compared to a six Nick appearances. While New York Melo did win a scoring title, his highest scoring season came from Denver at 28.9 points per game in 2007, compared to when he won the title with 28 8.7 points per game in 2013. He got the All-NBA third team four times, two in New York and two in Denver, but he was younger in Denver and he got an equal amount in less time. He also got two All-NBA second teams, one in New York, one in Denver. In Denver, he was younger. He also got All-Rookie first team in Denver, but playoff success is by far the biggest discrepancy. He made the playoffs seven times in Denver and only made the playoffs three times in New York. And more importantly, he went far deeper in the playoffs in Denver reaching the conference finals. Yes, you could make the argument that playoff success is a team debate, but Melo was the best player on his teams for both Denver and New York, excluding maybe his super early days and the tail end of the days in New York. Maybe at the bitter end, you could argue that Porzingis was better at the time, but it's still not an easy call to make. Overall, Melo was the best player on both teams. So for Carmelo Anthony to have far more success via both winning and accomplishments in less amount of time, versus a slightly better on paper stats New York Mello, I'm putting New York Mello in second place and Nuggets Mello in first place. Overall, the ranking goes fifth place, Rockets Mello. Fourth place, Thunder Mello. Excluding Hoodie Mello, of course. Third place, Blazers Mello. Second place, Knicks Mello. And first place, Nuggets Mello. Let me know what you think of this ranking. Both Blazers vs. Thunder and Knicks vs. Nuggets is a close call either way, so feel free to share your opinions in the comments below. Don't forget to slam dunk on that like button and subscribe with notifications turned on. I'm Rebound Rewind, and I'll fast forward to you later.